Hello everyone, I'm Ivan, a developer relations engineer here at Memgraph. For the past few weeks, we have been working on the next version of our open source library, GQL Alchemy. And today, I'm going to tell you about the new features we have included and some fixes and improvements that have also made it into the new release. If you aren't familiar with it, GQL Alchemy is a fully open source Python library that works as an object graph mapper, or OGM for short a link between graph database objects and Python code. Before we dive into the new release, let me explain in short what an OGM is. An object graph mapper provides a developer-friendly interface to work with graph databases. Instead of writing queries using the Cypher query language, you can write object-oriented code, which the OGM will automatically translate into Cypher queries. Aside from OGM capabilities, it includes other features such as on-disk storage for large properties that aren't needed in the graph database. You can create and manage stream processing pipelines in MemGraph to analyze real-time data with graph algorithms. There are other features like managing database triggers, creating constraints such as uniqueness and existence constraints, as well as creating indexes for faster data retrieval. Now, let's cover some of the features that made it into the new release. We added a new module called Instance Runner, and it allows you to start, stop, and check MemGraph instances from your Python code with GQL Alchemy. Instead of opening a new terminal to start MemGraph or writing Python or Bash scripts that will do that for you, you can just use the Instance Runner module. It's possible to start MemGraph instances either from binary files when MemGraph is installed on Linux, or using Docker, which is the preferred method on all operating systems. You can now import data into your graph database directly from sources like Amazon S3, Azure Blob Storage, and Local Storage as well. Currently, we support reading from file formats such as CSV, Parquet, Aero, and many more using the PyAero Python package. It's also possible to easily extend the importer with other data sources and file formats. If you end up implementing your own importer, why not make a pull request and we will add a feature to the next GQL Alchemy release. We have extended and improved the query builder, which lets you interact with the graph database using Python code instead of writing Cypher queries. New clauses and constructs have been added, which means you will have an even easier time querying your data. There are a lot of useful resources you can use to get started with GQL Alchemy and MemGraph. Check out our GitHub repository with Jupyter Notebook tutorials and our official documentation site, which contains how-to guides and other useful resources. The links are included in the video description. Okay, that will be it for a quick overview of the GQL Alchemy 1.2 release. If you plan on using GQL Alchemy, check out our community Discord server and Discord forum, where you can post questions and comments. You can also drop us a pull request on GitHub if you feel inspired and want to help enhance GQL Alchemy even further. Thank you for watching.